going along. And well, hell yeah, we're going to have a fun few days running for gold with a new bucket blaster high banker. But first off, welcome to Montana. Uh, hopefully we're in some very good gold today. And tomorrow, um, I'll show you the hole over here, but remember my last video, I made a uh, bucket blaster high banker. Then I didn't run it at all, but uh, this thing is working out fantastic. We are just getting started. Got it set up. Grab the camera. And look at this thing. This is a washing SOB for sure. So here's our a full scoop of dirt. And it's washing. Big time. We walk around here. There's the water we're missing. We're losing. I think this is very efficient, cheap, easy to make. Took me about an hour. Um, wow. So better than I even expected, for sure. There we go. So we're just, like I said, we're just getting started. Uh, I'll walk you over here. I'm unpacking the dirt a little ways today because we just figured it'd be easier to set up on flat ground. And there's some uh, nice shade here this afternoon. It's supposed to be in the 90s. So this is where I'm digging over here. Um, yeah, right in here. I started right here last time I was here. And it was pretty good. Down below that stump was not very good at all. So we're going to come up here and kind of work that way. Um, people keep asking me about our water and where we get it from. And how we get it up here on the hill when the creek is clear down there. I'll walk you up here and show you. So I've been working this same area for about three or four years now. Right here we found three nuggets. Um, up in here with some really good gold when my sons were up in here we dug all the way up to them trees in there dug over there so I've been having work a what 25 yard area in three years something like that but here's our water up here so We've got these two tubs that are, I think, 100 and, 110 gallons a piece. These two tubs here. Then we have another 200 gallon tank up here. There's the water. It comes. We're piping it down the hill from a, or down the hill from a spring. Probably three, four hundred yards up the mountain here, just coming out of the hillside. So we've got water year-round right here. Well, in the summertime. Got a hope. This is uh, Kevin. Kevin donated this to the club this year, or to use for the summer. And he put some hose bibs on there. So this is our hose running down to our setup over there. So we got running water at the sluice. <clears throat> So, we get back down here and dig some dirt and see how we do. Not too bad for our first clean out of the day. One small picker and a bunch of finds. Uh, gold has not traveled very dang far. Okay, we've just finished our first clean out. So, hon, what do you think of the high banker? Since I said this has got to work better than the trommel because you're the one that runs it most of the time. So, what did you think of the high banker? It's excellent. It cuts through <clears> the clay. 
it breaks up the clay balls and it's quick. And it's quick. So I think we're both very, very happy with it. So we'll get back and do some more, more running. Running away. So these sides, the sliding level of sides, that you can get at printingprospectors.com. Um, these are the sides that I literally silicone to the side of the sluice box. Just put a coat of silicone on the old inside of it and clamped it on there and let it dry. And it's holding on there great, even with the three uh, sliding levelers on there, the brackets on there. One for the legs, one for the spray bar, and one to hold up the high bank. So they're working very, very well. This box is running good. And we're rocking. No, it's not as relaxing as uh, sitting in the lawn chair, but we are moving some dirt, that is for sure. My wife, she's uh, feeding the sluice. I'm over there digging. So I gotta take a break once in a while. It is gonna be a scorcher. If it gets too warm, we'll go turn on the air conditioner and sit in the camper. Eating that clay away. Well, it's the morning of day two. Just finished me some steak and eggs for breakfast. It was delicious. Um, just getting the tub cleaned out, getting some fresh water. But I was getting some dirt over here and it's a little bit different but I've ran into this before so I'm digging along this over here is just hard packed clay really really hard to dig then I get in over here to this and it's pretty easy to dig there's some bigger rocks mixed in it but what I did notice is there's all kinds of river rock in here. Round river rock. Now, I ran into it once before right over there and it was really, really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and dig it. And we'll see what it is. Or, But it's different ground. And it might be somebody's tailings from a long, long time ago. I don't know. But we're going to run a wheelbarrow of it and see what becomes of it. I hope it's just like it was over there, really, really good. So we'll get this finished filling up that wheelbarrow. We'll see what we get. Well, we got a full wheelbarrow full of dirt. Might be a total waste of time, but it's way different than anything else around uh, its general vicinity. So just tons and tons of finds and not all the big hard pat clay rocks I guess but the interesting then down just below this is the hard pack clay layer I found that so we I don't know it was good last time we'll find out this time the high banker is still running good um, one thing I would probably change is the slit in the back I would make it a little bit deeper to allow the more water into the sluice because we're getting a little bit okay it's bubbling up a little bit right there I need to cut that back a little bit and I did add a bead of silicone right there to keep all the water from running out the bottom there that's the only things I did different but drips a little bit of water 
I guess if it's a big concern, you can tune down the, the uh, water a little bit. But boy, it sure washes it good. Well, not fantastic, but not bad either. So I guess uh, for as easy as it is digging, I guess it's worth it. A couple decent pieces in there. Well, the wife wore out. She's toast. But this is just too easy to pass up. So I'm going to keep going for a little bit. Run another beer barrel or so. in it. Two buckets or a little over five gallons there. Well, I got me some dirt, maybe half, three quarters of a wheelbarrow. That's enough. And I'm running a little bit differently this time. I'm not uh, going to soak the material, I'm going to run it dry. After running this for two days, I'm very happy. High banker, wash plant, but if you're in clay, you need to wash your material. I think it works great. Um, if you didn't have the clay, you didn't need so much washing action. I think you could take three eight holes and go all the way back with it. Another way to not have such the washing action that it does. Put, make it a little steeper. So the rocks will come out, but I don't really want them to. Because I want them to wash. So, well, out. Almost to the tail end of our trip here. It's going to get really warm, so... I'll be headed back to the camper to sit in the air conditioner and watch some videos or something. Well, let's get this ran. So I just had a thought. I thought about this and I thought, you know, I use my wheelbarrow and my shovel, but what if you could get close to your hole? or you couldn't bring a wheelbarrow, get your shovel directly with a big shovel into it. Well, it does work. Yeah. It works best if you get a shovel full of dirt, dump it in towards the back, keep the shovel the same direction, it washes off the shovel so you're not dumping stuff back on, then you can drag it out. I sure am having fun. 
That may be easier than the little shovel. Huh. Well, there's the gold we got. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Very, very happy with that for our little trip out here. Well, that was a fun couple days. We got some decent gold for this area. Um, the high banker works absolutely fantastic. Be sure to watch that if you want to make one and let me know if you plan on making one or have made one in the past. Um, let me know in the comments. If you need some sliding levelers or silicone sluice box mats, check out printingprospectors.com. Um, thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time. Bye now.